Hello there, this is a tutorial for the COGS generator. So if you open the file, this is what you see. You already have several different COGS that you can use. But if we dive into the parameters, we can see what you can do with this generator. So for example, I can set this to 0.5 meters. Uh, also need a little bit more space for the uh, inner material the inner structure. If we now uh, press Shift D to copy it, then we can link it by, we have to flip the direction because if we can see, if we play the animation, this one turns this way and this one turns the other way. So we can flip the direction. And also if we flip one tooth, they will bite into each other. Also when, for example, you make this one one meter, the speed, speeds will line up, but you have to um, turn up the magnet, rotate a little bit so they will bite into each other again. So this way it becomes really easy to create new cogs. So to go over the, the other par parameters, so we can flip the direction, we can offset one tooth so they bite into each other easily. We can set, set different uh, amounts of tooth. So for example, I set this to 20. It will reduce the amount of teeth. Then I also have to set this one to 20 and then uh, rotate it and then it works again. So make sure that the amount of teeth is the same for all your cogs. Uh, here we have the speed multiplier. So we can set it to 10 and slows down this one also to 10. Uh, we have the teeth inside width so you can see that you can also tweak how the teeth look. Uh, the outside width to make them more square or pointy. We have the cog depth. Uh, well that is quite clear what it does. The teeth length so we can also make them a little bit more longer, like this. Uh, we have the hole offset to make the inner structure larger or smaller. Uh, we can also turn off the element inside. We have the materials, of course, that you can set and the inner material or the inner structure depth if you want to play around with it to make uh, different variations of cogs. And then also the inner element instance. So here we have the inner elements. We have three now, which are in this uh, collection. We can flip through them. So you can also copy them and then create your own and customize it. And then it will create new cogs for you very easily. So this is how it works. And I hope you enjoy it.